Here is an interesting problem on investment which we will try to solve using two variables. The question is, if Neelam have twice as much invested at 8% as at 5% and if her annual interest income from these investments is $315, how much has she invested at each rate? So let's assume that X is the amount invested at 8% and Y at 5%. So let's assume that. So we'll write our let statement. So let the investment be how much? We'll say X at 8% and Y at 5%. So that is our let statement. Now let's read the question again. If Neelam have twice as much invested at 8% as at 5%, that means x is 2 times y. Do you see that? So that is the second condition. So from here we get x is twice as y. x is 2 times y. So we get our statement which is x is 2 times y. Now if our annual interest income from these investments is 315. So total income is 315. How much has she invested at each rate? Now, relation between income and amount invested is what? It is interest is the return from investment, which is amount invested P R times T. So that is the formula. So interest is the income. This is the income from what you invest. Now, what is the income from X amount at 8%? So you'll write X for P. For R, you'll write 8%. That means 8 over 100. And time is 1 year, right? So let's write down both the incomes, right? So income will be, now let's say income 1. This income 1 is from 8% and the amount is x x times rate of interest is 8% 8 over 100 and time duration is 1 year annual. So this is equal to 8 over 100 is 0 0.08 x. Now income 2 is y times 5% that means 5 over 100 times 1. So it is 0 0.05 times y. So this is our incomes from two different investments. Now it says that total income is 315. So that means if you combine these two, what do you get? You get $315. So that is what we will do now. The next step for us is we'll add the two incomes. So when you add these two incomes, that is income 1 plus income 2 is equal to 315. So how much is income 1? Income 1 is 0 0.08 of x and income 2 is 0 0.05 of y and this is equal to 315. Correct? Now you know x is 2 times y. So we can replace this x with 2y and solve for y. So let's do that. So we get 0 0.08 times 2y plus 0 0.05 y equals to 315. So this is 2 times 8 is 16. So we get 0 0.16y plus 0 0.05y equals to 315. If you add these two, you get 5 plus 6 is 11 and then 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get 0 0.21y equals to 315. And from here you can calculate y equals to 315 divided by 0 0.21. So let's do that. So it is 315 divided by 0 0.21 which gives us 1500. So we get a value of y as 1500. Do you get it? So once you get y as 1500, we know what x is. Right? So we'll just go back to our first equation which is this one. So that is our second equation where we get what y is. So let me now write down the answer here. So what do we get here is 
So we'll bringing down from there. We say y is equals to fifteen hundred, and x is equals to two times y, two times fifteen hundred, which is three thousand. Correct. So that is the answer, right? So now we can write down our answer. Answer is that the investment at eight percent is x. X is three thousand. So we say dollar three thousand is invested at eight percent, and dollar fifteen hundred is invested at five percent. And then you get a total return of three one five. So that is how we can solve this problem. I'll appreciate if you could go. So I'll appreciate go through these steps once again, and understand them, and then move on and solve rest of the questions based on similar things. That means earning interest on investment using two variables. Solve those questions. Before I give you a solution, so you can stop the video, write down your solution, and then check your solution with my suggestions. Thanks, and all the best.